Identities are undefined when theta has a certain value that makes the denominator zero, right? So number one, let's, let's take that out, let's make it four. Identities are undefined for values of theta or, or a where the denominator of a fraction is equal to zero. There we go. That's number one. Number two, when a value of theta results in a negative root right or a negative under a root and of course the third occurrence is when tan theta is involved the third occurrence is when tan theta is involved uh, and that is if theta is equal to 90 degrees right plus k 180 which I'll explain shortly for k an element of z right and those are the three times when identities are undefined so let's look at this this is a fraction and as you can see that the denominator in this fraction is 1 plus sine a right 1 plus sine a it is 1 plus sine a. It is 1 plus sine a. Now, when 1 plus sine a is equal to 0, and I'm going to put there if 1 plus sine a equates to 0, then this ratio, this fraction over here, is undefined. This identity would be undefined. Okay, so when does this equal to 0? Well, this is if sine a is equal to negative 1. Now, here's a quick crash course. Is if you haven't seen trigonometric graphs as yet, you might as well just get an exposure to them quite quickly right now. Tree graphs look something like this. This here is the graph of y equals sine x, or sine a, that particular graph. And this is positive 1, this is negative 1. This here results in 90 degrees, this here is 180 degrees, this over year is 270 degrees, and this over year is 360 degrees. Now you can say, Mad, clearly we can see that A must be equal to 270 degrees. There. That's when it's negative 1. So A is equal to 270 degrees. Okay, now when is this thing equal to zero? Uh, when a is equal to 270 degrees. Now that's not sufficient. They actually want to know when is it equal to zero in all of the intervals. Um, in all of the in in all of the intervals, I'm just going to extend that line quickly. This graph actually continues on this side, like so, where that is minus 360 that over there is going to be negative 270 this is going to be negative 180 and then I also have minus 90 over here now you can see that the two elements theta will be equal or a in this case will be equal to 270 degrees or minus 90 degrees now that's specifically in this interval if you wanted to know in general then we can say a is equal to 270 degrees plus n times 360, where n is an element of the integers. Now, what do I mean by that is I can put in 1 and then I get a value. I can put in 0 and I get a value of, of uh, 270. I can put in 1 and then I will get a repeat of that curve looking at minus 1 because this n360 will give me all the coterminal angles of 270. Specifically in this interval of minus 360 and 360 degrees, it will be minus 90 and uh, positive 270 degrees. So that's, and don't forget, these are the times when 
uh, an identity is undefined. But we've seen that an example. We've seen an example of where the first one uh, is used or occurs. Right.